नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टुडे टॉपिक इज आवर थियोरम बेस्ड ऑन योर फंडामेंटल थियोरम ऑफ अर्थमेटिक सो यर वी हैव द थियोरम सो थियोरम सेज व्हाट इट सेज इफ पी अ प्राइम नंबर A, any positive integer, and if P divides A square, then P divides A also. So there we have a symbol for this statement. We may write like this: p divides a square. P divides a. Please do not mix with this one. P by a. This one and this one is totally different. P divides a means when we'll divide a square by p. You will get remainder zero, and this means a will be your divisor and p is your dividing. So this one and this are not same. Okay. So now we are going to proceed this one. Before proceeding, let's recapitulate the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic says that every composite number can be expressed as product of time. Okay, so here we'll start our theorem. So let so here we have a as a positive integer. So look at here, a is a positive integer, but a is not a prime here. Okay, a may be prime. So we are not taking a as a prime. If a is a prime, then it automatically be a prime number. it already expressed as a prime so we'll not think about the prime we'll go for composite okay so let the prime factorization of a b as follow A equals to p one, p two into into p three dot 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 p n, where p one, p two, p three dot 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 p n are primes, not necessarily distinct. Okay, so here take the square on both side. A square can be written as p one square into p two square into p three dot 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 p n square. It is given that p divides a square. Okay, it is. given that p divides a square that is that is what p divides p1 square into p2 square p3 square dot 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 p and square okay so here by fundamental theorem of arithmetic by fundamental theorem of arithmetic p is one of the prime factors of a square okay so we'll try to understand with the help of example also this one let's see So here, 
this implies P is what? One of the prime. Okay, one of the prime which are P1, P2, P3 dot dot Pn. This means if P is one of the prime of this, that means P divides product of P1 into P2 into P3 dot dot Pn. This means P divide A. Why? Because already we have assumed that A is a product of prime. So let's so let take one example. Like if you think A is your uh, 24 okay then a square would be what 576 so if we'll take p equals to 3 so look at here p is your prime number okay so here p divides what 576 then c p also divide 24 here we have already explained this one in a prime factorization form. We can write this one as a prime factorization form. Okay, look at here. This is your what two 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 and three. So this is your two square, two square, two square and three square. So if we we'll take P as three, look at here. This three is one of the factor of this expression. So here we have written what we have written here it is given that p divides this one that means p is one of the factor so that means when we will take when we will take this one as a numerator and p as a denominator then p will be any one of them anyone take p equals to p3 that means this will cancel and it will give you 1 by 3 that means remainder is here 0 that means p divides this one so if we'll take without square that means if we'll take p1 into p2 into p3 into dot 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 pn look at here p3 divides p3 that means we can say that P divide product of P1, P2, P3 dot dot Pn. That means P divides A. Thank you.